Hello, this is how it works. In uh, Photoshop, we have three types of documents. This one with transparency, this one black and white, and this one with background. Uh, let's start with this. Uh, you, if you have a lot of documents opened in the Photoshop, you have to start with the last opened one because next to this document, it will create another one uh, to take the mask that uh, the raster me needs. So, or close the other documents or use the last opened one. So let's go. This one with transparency. You have to click this button to add the the background, the black background, and you have to click the size, the resize button, because we have to resize and rename the layer. And from here, you just click these three options. Now uh, we will click the soft hand because it's got a lot of uh, area. And as you see, it creates the file that we need. If you uh, click blackout, you will see that you have the file available here. So let's click this document. We don't need it anymore. And now you see it. Now it selected the first document, but we want to click the second one, the last document in the order or we will get an error. So from here, with this uh, picture, black and white picture, we have to go and if you want, you can add a little bit of brightness. Okay, then resize and rename. Then click the black keys because this one will clean the black areas and will uh, add a little bit of a little bit of contrast in the picture and then you just click the black and white fade out as you see now you have a file that you can print it uh, you don't have to print the grays because a lot of people have a problem with the icc profile of the rings they cannot get uh, normal gray uh, print but with this you can just print it and you will have the grays but you print only the white ink uh, as you see you have only white dots let's close this one and now you have a normal picture with a background this one uh, you have to resize and rename. If you have uh, areas with uh, shadowy pixels like this and you don't have a complete black background, uh, you will see that if you just click one of these buttons, you will get a lot of black pixels around it in here and you will have a problem printing them. You will have uh, white edges and it won't look so good. So if you click the black kiss button, it will clean the background and it will give you a better uh, result. So from here, from this document, you just click the normal button. and you get the result. Now, let's do it once, but this time we will do it manually. If you click the, the resize button and you get the layer with the origin name, you don't have to click it again or you don't have to do the clean background again. This is only one time to rename, resize uh, the layer. Now, if we do it manually, you, you have to click duplicate. You see, it creates another document here with the name source. 
because we are working with uh, this to get the mask and create the halftones in this document. So from here, you click the levels button because it adds the contrast that we need to get the, the grays darker. So if I undo here, you see we have a lot of grays, but if you click the levels button, you will get darker areas. A half tone effect is more dense when there is complete black areas uh, and less dense in gray areas. So I click it once again, you see how, how it affects the document. Let's go back. This is the, the first. Okay, so one time you get the soft hand. With two times you get the normal effect here. Uh, with this button, dots on white, you get a um, universal gray effect in all of it and you get dots also in the white areas. We don't need it now. Then you decide if you want the small dots or the medium dots or lines or vector in case that you are working with uh, text or vector uh, graphics. And here you decide if you want to uh, add or remove a pixel around every dot because in some vector files you may get a, a black edge around the letters and you can just remove it by clicking this once or twice and then you click the done and this is the manual process. Here if you take out the black you will see that you will have uh, this uh, result. Okay, bye bye.